hello hello guys today uh, we're gonna talk about the 3.3 volts okay let me just uh, type instead so today we're gonna talk about the 3.3 volts uh, and uh, 5 volts always Okay, 3.3 volts and 5 volts always. I'm gonna explain everything step by step. But before we start, press the subscribe button and don't forget to comment and uh, like our video if you are interested. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, the 3.3 volts. Uh, it's mainly uh, for for different uh, purposes. I will explain everything step by step. But for now, uh, let's start and uh, let's, let me show you how and where the nine, the three point three volts is coming from. The three point three volts is coming from the nine volts as always. Most of my videos, in most of my videos, I do explain uh, the whole thing. On how the 19 volts it's uh, distributed into different power rails so even in this case the 3.3 volts and the 5 volts are coming from the 19 volts of which is our main uh, power so you will have a chip okay it will be a small chip on the motherboard you know chip right do guys do do you even know chips or should we go online and search for chips this uh this is my chip uh control i'm not perfect using a laptop uh touchpad so uh, it's very hard to okay so you'll have a chip a chip is something like this I know you are confused I'll show you now a chip in real life because for now you are confused have a chip okay let me show you a chip I'm gonna say charging chip just making I'm just making an example here Okay, where the chip, where the chip, where the chip, where the chip, okay. Okay, this is the chip. Okay, see this thing? This is the chip. Okay, this is the chip. See this black tiny thing? This is the chip. This is the chip. As you can see, this tiny dot, white dot here, stand for pin number one. It shows you how we're gonna, uh, I mean, install the chip the laptop motherboard okay to align the pins and everything you need to to uh, take note of this be careful of the white dot it needs to align with this dot on the motherboard see white dot there and see the error here the arrow here on the motherboard okay these two they should align you should be very careful when you are uh, replacing a chip okay these are chips okay this black thing is a chip let's go back so you will have a chip and then you will have uh, two MOSFETs we talked about the, the MOSFETs but anyway okay let me just do this okay even on this right hand side you will have two MOSFETs still the same thing we have the two MOSFETs okay let me draw the uh, deny the power okay power power that is that is you will have a coil 
come to a coil, you see. Okay. So the power will be flowing like this, we'll have a coil. After a coil, uh, after a coil, you will have a tantalium capacitor can draw guys there with you, you are very bad and it will be connected to ground okay, okay. even here same case have we will have the titanium capacitor connected to ground. After this, you will have the electrolytic capacitor okay. connected to ground as well. I will explain everything step by step. This is how, okay, even here, you will have the titanium capacitor. I mean the electrolytic capacitor connected to ground. And then you will have your 3.3 volts on this side. 3.3 volts generated. And even here you will have your 5 volts generated so how pin number 4 gate will be controlled by the chip pin number 4 even here gate will be controlled by the chip even here pin number 4 gate will be controlled by the chip even here pin number 4 gate will be controlled by the chip okay so these two MOSFETs here, okay, this one is connected to ground. It's connected to ground. Even here, this one is connected to ground. It's connected to ground. Okay, let me show you the MOSFETs again. Okay, so if you don't know the MOSFETs, uh, the MOSFETs, this is the MOSFETs. <sighs> show you the MOSFET now. MOSFET is something like this. This is the MOSFET. These are all the MOSFET. This is the MOSFET. Okay, see the MOSFET? But in most in laptop we use the we use this one and we use this one. See? These are the MOSFET. Okay. These are the MOSFET. Let's go back. Hope you show the MOSFET. Okay. And pin number four of which is pin number four. You see the dots here? You count one, two, three, four. Pin number four is the gate. Okay, please watch uh, one of my videos where I explain uh, the MOSFETs. Okay, because for now, uh, I don't want to waste time and explain how the MOSFETs work, how, where is the gate. You see how the gate work. No, I, I've already done that in one of my previous videos. Please watch it if you are getting confused. Okay, let's go back. So these two MOSFETs, okay, on the left hand side, they turn on and off. Okay, they are controlled by this chip. Uh, this chip here is control these two guys to turn on and off. So you will have something like this, turn on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. So the power will be like wiggling. Okay, and then you will have the inductor here to induce the power. Okay. Let me say uh, laptop inductor. I want to show you the coils. Okay, this is it. This is it. It's always something like this. Okay. This uh, little square things are in that tile. Hope you can see them. Here they are. These are the, the inductors. You find them on the laptop 
if you see this thing just know that that whole thing it's a power supply okay if you, if you are seeing this just know that the whole thing it's a power supply okay let me save this photo save to download okay these are the power supply i mean these are the inductors okay the call this is a sign for them okay this is how they are they introduce the power after that you will have uh the tertium capacitor let me show you the tertium capacitor i'm not simple okay i don't want a symbol to show you okay Okay, let me see SMT Satellium Capacitor. Okay, here they are uh, the black ones. Okay, I better just get here they are these black or yellow things. Okay, these are the Satellium Capacitors. Okay, even these yellow ones, it's the same thing, but in most cases, you see this one, the black ones. You see this one in most cases, in most laptops, you see, you see this one, the black ones. Okay, you see this one, these are the titanium capacitors. Okay, after them, here we have the electrolytic capacitor. Okay, that's indeed. Capacitor. Okay, here they are. As you can see, them. These are the capacitor, the electrolytic capacitor. So you will have them after this whole thing. Why you have them? Watch one of my videos. I did explain how the capacitor work. I explain everything. But here I was showing you the sample of the whole power supply thing for 3.3 volts and for the 5.5 volts. Okay, let's say you have a laptop and you are missing, uh, you are missing this volt. Let me choose a different color. Maybe you are missing the 5 volts. Now you know that you need to diagnose this whole thing. Maybe the chip itself is not uh, generating 5 volts. Maybe there's a fault with this chip. Okay, or maybe one of the maybe there's a short one of the capacitors here is shooting everything to drown. And again, you will have the the ceramic capacitors all over. If one of them is shorted, the whole thing will be shorted to drown. Okay, don't check. Uh, you can check it. You can check the call, but um, believe me, the call doesn't usually uh, die. I've never seen a case where. I'm replacing a, a, maybe a broken coil or inductor loop. No, I've never seen such a case. Okay, it's very, very, very rare. I'm not saying don't do it. You can do it, but nope. Okay, in my case, this is always the problem. Let me show you the main problem. The capacitor, I mean the MOSFET. Especially if this one is shorted, the whole thing would be with the ground okay the whole thing will be ground even if the, even if this one is short the, the upper one the whole thing will be drowned how because this chip sometimes they do sense if one mistake here they will they will stop i mean they will uh prevent the power from circulating why because the 19 volts will go all over the board on the five on the five volts section of which this chip is it's got a feedback pin it can sense how many volts is here if it see this hard there's uh, maybe 19 volts here it should quickly shut down the whole thing to prevent further damages okay i hope you do understand the whole structure i know it's complicated but this is how it is i can do it again let me do it again no 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 you can repeat the video it's simple 
but before i end this video guys i mean press the subscribe button press the subscribe button don't forget to comment if you have any question let me know i will keep on teaching you step by step i need to know where you are struggling how can i help and then we will take it from there thank you so much i'm gonna stop this video okay